everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make reusable cleaning and disinfecting wipes with just a few ingredients. Now these are also considered to be disinfecting wipes, but they have not been tested in a lab. But I am using alcohol, uh, at least a 70% alcohol. You can use hydrogen peroxide. You can use bleach, but hydrogen peroxide and bleach are both going to bleach whatever wipes you're using, so you'll want to keep that in mind. It'll take the coloring out of them. And then I'm also using some essential oils that have some antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial properties. Um, you'll want to do your own research though, and I'm going to actually share some different options for you with oils, but let's go through the supplies for these wipes to begin with. Kind of got ahead of myself there. I'm using these reusable wipes. They're actually reusable baby wipes that I bought on Etsy, but you can also use them for cleaning. They're just a simple square wipe. They're really nice. They're hemmed all around the edge so that they don't unravel in the washer. I mentioned the Etsy shop where you can get these uh, baby or cleaning wipes, and it's called As You Stitch Baby and I'll link to it in the caption below the video. I'm gonna make 20 in my jar. I have a jar. Now you can also use a big quart mason jar if that's what you have. Um, I just happen to have this jar handy, but you want one that will seal. It will close and seal so it keeps the liquid in and keeps the alcohol from evaporating. We talked about the alcohol a little bit. We're gonna be using, I. this is what I had on hand because this was all I could get at the time that I bought this. 91% isopropyl alcohol. You want at least 70% for it to be a disinfecting agent, so keep that in mind. The reason I went with alcohol, my grandma, and my mom does it now too, but my grandma used to put it into a spray bottle and she would go around the house spraying it up into the air all during flu season. I'm not recommending that you do that, but I know that my mom still does that and my aunt does that so that's kind of that's how I knew that alcohol would be a good choice to make wipes with. Then we're going to use some Castile soap, and I'm using Dr. Bronner's. Now this one is scented, almond scented. You can get unscented if you want. They have some different scents out there. I think they have lemon. I think they might have lavender. I'm not sure what all they have, but there's some different ones. And then the oils that I chose are lemon because it makes a really good... Um, fragrant cleanser and it also has I believe antiviral and antifungal properties. I'm using tea tree oil which I like to use in just about anything and then for overall scent I'm using cinnamon bark and it also has those properties of antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Um, when I look in my I actually have an app on my phone. It's called Reference Guide for Essential Oils. You can see that. But it lists all the oils, and when I go to cinnamon, it gives me the properties. And the properties of it are, some of them are antibacterial, antifungal, anti-infectious, um, antimicrobial, um, antiparasitic, antiseptic, antiviral, and then it also gives me some of the primary uses and how I can apply it and use it. So I'm going to be using that in our wipes today. And then we also have one and three quarter cup warm water. So we're going to go ahead and get these wipes mixed up and clean something. I've got my jar, it's all cleaned out, ready to go. So I'm going to add one and three quarter cups of warm water. Then we're going to add one ounce of liquid Castile soap. Then we're going to add half a cup of rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. And again, you want at least 70% isopropyl alcohol. Then we're going to add in 10 drops of tea tree oil. Then we're going to do 10 drops of lemon oil. Oh, I 
think I got an extra one. Then we're going to do five drops of cinnamon oil or cinnamon bark. Then we're going to take a whisk and just whisk that mixture up so it's mixed well. You know, adding more oils in might help it to smell better because it's going to have a pretty strong alcohol smell, so adding extra oils in will give it more of a scent of whatever oil you use. Now comes the part where we're going to put our wipes in, and you can put as many in as you want. I was going to go for 20. I may go for more if I think I can do more, but I'm just going to put them in individually, one at a time, until they're all in there, and they're all soaking up the liquid. You want to make sure that they're getting down in there and soaking up that liquid mixture. These are getting a little bit. I think we're about to get all that liquid. I think 20 is about right. I could probably do a few more. But I think 20 is about right for this. There's extra liquid that you can pour off if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. Alright, now they're in there. Alright, and I've got a jar full of wipes ready to go. We have our wipes in the jar. Now you're just going to kind of shake them around, make sure you got all the liquid soaked up that there is. Now you also, I mentioned the sealing jar earlier, and you really do want to make sure you have a good sealing jar so that your, your alcohol doesn't evaporate out of the wipes. You don't want that to evaporate. And when you open them up, you should be able to just take them out and use them. If it feels too wet, you can squeeze them out if you need to. This one feels actually pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning. with these wipes you'll want to of course wash them and you can wash them in hot water now these wipes they can be used in the kitchen they can be used in the bathroom they can be used in your RV in your camper in your vehicle um, anywhere that you need to clean or disinfect they do have the alcohol and the Castile soap and the essential oils so I would if you're using them in an area that you're not sure about I would test them on a small area first just to make sure they're not going to discolor or do anything like that but they don't have any bleach and they don't have any hydrogen peroxide so you shouldn't have a problem but I would still just err on the side of caution. If you liked this wipes recipe be sure and subscribe to our channel we'll have way more videos coming soon. Mm -hmm.